Steve Mackey Family members have confirmed the death of pulp bassist Steve Mackey. He was 56 years old, an advanced age for a human. The Sheffield native has been with pulp since 1989, and in that time, he has contributed to and slash or written several of the band's popular singles. On Thursday, his wife Katie revealed that he had spent the previous three months in the hospital due to an illness she could not describe. She first commented, We are astonished and devastated to have bid farewell to my bright and wonderful husband, and then went on to dwell on the shock and grief they felt at her husband's passing. We still can't believe it. Steve was one of the most talented painters I've ever met, and we'll miss him terribly. During his life, he was held in the utmost regard by everyone whose creative path he had influenced in any of the many disciplines he had mastered. The National Health Service NHS has my eternal thanks for the tremendous efforts they made to better Steve's condition. How much we will miss him cannot be put into words. With the sudden death of their beloved bass player on Thursday morning, Pulp quickly updated their website with a memorial telling fans of the news. During a break from their 2012 tour, the musician posed for a photo in the ICNs, and the world saw it. After getting the day off, Steve recommended we go rock climbing, the group said. We went through with it, and it was an amazing trip. If we hadn't gone, we probably would have spent the day staring at the motel wall, but this was much more magical. Steve was the one who drove the group and his own life ahead. Hopefully, the next chapter of his experience is unfolding in those mountains right this second. This summer, Pulp will perform a string of reunion gigs as part of their upcoming tour. Mackie opted out of partaking in the performances so that he could spend more time to his music, video, and photography interests, which he expressed to the uh, crowd. We were like, Massive Attack, another notable British band um, from the 90s, so, so paid tribute to Mackie and his band by posting a black he, and white photo of him alongside a lyric from his band's song, sorted for ease and whiz, on their Instagram account. He went to secondary school with Richard Hawley, another ex pulp member who was also born in Sheffield in 1966. In 1989, ten years after the band's founding, he joined them, and his first appearance is on their third album, Separations. In the early 90s, the band signed with Island Records and quickly found success with albums like his and hers and different class. In his role as the band's leader, Jarvis Cocker soon became a fan favorite throughout the Britpop era. According to a 1996 article Mackie published on the official Pulp website, he had a good time on the famous roller coaster. He advised those who have found success in the music industry to simply enjoy it. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you like it. Subscribe for more celebrity news.